Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to learn and interact together. Today we are going to have our biology from 3 lesson 15, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Jared. We are going to handle the topic on ecology and the subtopic, uh, the ecological, that is the ecological pyramids. But before that, we can have the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson you should be able to differentiate between uh, different ecological pyramids. Uh, so let us... Um, Begin on the lesson and we shall enjoy. We are welcome. Now we get into the ecological uh, pyramids whereby we can say the efficiency of energy transfer from one tropic level to the next can be summarized diagrammatically in form of pyramids. These pyramids give a simplified pictorial representation of feeding relationships and energy flow in an ecosystem. Uh, they are useful in comparing, they are useful in comparing. Um, different ecosystems, showing seasonal variations in an ecosystem or a change in the components of an ecosystem. There are three types of ecological pyramids, namely, we have the pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass, and pyramid of energy. And now, we are going, uh, actually, now I want us to look at uh, the pyramid of numbers. Probably we can say, in natural ecosystem, there is a progressive decrease in the numbers of organisms constituting any uh, trophic or feeding level in a food chain. The greatest mm, uh, in number are the producers, as you can see from our diagram, um, followed in decreasing order by the price, uh, primary consumers, the secondary consumers, tertiary consumers, and least of all are the quaternary uh, consumers. Uh, when these numbers are drawn to scale, the uh, the above food relationship produce a pyramid shaped in histogram or pictogram called the pyramid of numbers and that is the one that uh, is, uh, we are seeing on our screen and actually all these ones they are getting their source of energy from from the sun so we are saying that they decrease as they go up from the producers up to the um, the quaternary uh, consumers now uh, uh, we can have, um, I would like us to do something on how to construct these pyramids of numbers. I'm going to give you the steps on how you can construct the pyramid of numbers. The first step is that you use data collected or provided. The second step, from the data identify and draw the most suitable food chain. The third step is that you indicate the numbers at each trophic level in the food chain. The fourth one is you choose a suitable scale for the data. The fifth one, you use uh, using the uh, chosen scale, you draw a horizontal rectangular bar to represent the number of producers at the, at the base of the pyramid. The sixth one is that you progressively uh, draw horizontal bars of other trophic levels in their ascending order. And uh, while you are doing this, you should ensure that the width of the bars is uniform. Um, after now you uh, construct the pyramid of numbers, you will be required to interpret. Uh, the pyramid of numbers, whereby, as a general principle, the body size of organisms increases at each tropic level from the base to the apex of the pyramid as their numbers decrease. At each tropic level, much of the energy obtained is lost in respiration and thus few organisms can be supported at the succeeding level. However, there are cases in which the number of organisms will not decrease at each succeeding level. For example, many caterpillars feeding on one cabbage. Such gives an inverted pyramid of numbers. Uh, now we are through with the pyramid of numbers, we can look something on uh, the pyramid of biomass, whereby we can say the biomass of an organism is its constant dry weight. When biomass measurements are carried out in a given ecosystem of dimensions and components, the statistical representation also produces a pyramid-shaped histogram. The producers have the highest biomass per unit area and in decreasing order are followed by primary consumers, the secondary consumers, the tertiary consumers and quaternary consumers. Um, what we are seeing on our, our diagrammatic representation here, the graphs you can see they are around uh, 10, the, the, the energy is around 10,000, uh, the grasshoppers the energy has decreased to uh, 1,000, the frogs the energy has also decreased to 100 whereby the snakes, the energy has decreased to uh, 10, and now for the orb, it has reduced to 1. That is to mean the energy is reducing as you go up the, as you uh, move from the uh, producers up to the, the quaternary consumers. 
Uh, having done and said that, uh, you are required to have the following activity whereby you will be required to differentiate between the pyramid of numbers and the pyramid of uh, biomass. And to get more information on this uh, lesson, you can refer to KLB 2017, Secondary Biology Students Book 3, which is the fourth edition and that has been certified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this uh, lesson and many more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS to do the number that is appearing on our screen or you subscribe to our YouTube channel which is Elimu TV or you, our Facebook page which is also Elimu TV or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all these channels so that we might um, enjoy our biology lessons. Um, thank you.